I think it has to be the fact that she didn't have the support of the team. Uh, I've seen a lot of fans in particular over the last couple of weeks kind of criticising anyone who said that Vera wasn't probably going to stay on, but I also don't think you can really stay on when you don't have the support of the majority of your squad. I mean, all the reports over the last couple of weeks have been uh, that, you know, we, we know the things that happened between her and Katie McCabe and that fallout, but I also think that like people maybe focused a little bit too much on Katie and think that this is the reason why Vera is gone. It's not. There was an overall feeling in the squad that she shouldn't stay for any longer. Um, the review that was done reportedly had only two players actually supporting her. And I think when you take everything into account, like the fact that apparently she had the backing of a lot of the sponsors, fans were still relatively happy, but the squad wasn't. The FAI obviously thought that it wasn't really tenable once you lose your dressing room that much to keep her on. Um, so yeah, I mean, I called this a couple of weeks ago. I think it has been in the water for a long time. I do understand why people on the outside are looking at it and thinking this seems absolutely ridiculous. You know, qualified for our first ever major tournament, got very close to qualifying for the Euros, has overseen a massive shift in how we view this Ireland team. And I think like that sort of stuff, absolutely we should be talking about and making sure we remember that part of her history. But also you can't disregard the fact that there was a sour taste leading into the World Cup because of everything that was happening off to the side. The players were feeling it. It distracted from the build up to the tournament. It was a constant every couple of months you were having to ask the players. Again, Katie was the front person for that because a lot of the time whenever the bigger stuff broke, she was the person that was being put up for media as captain. But even talking to any of the squad, you could tell they were growing more and more uncomfortable with having to answer questions about Vera, about things that had allegedly happened in the past. And I think that maybe it's time for a fresh start and it's time to move along. And um, there's going to be a lot of pressure on the team now, obviously, to perform because they are the ones that were unhappy with what was going on with her management. So it's going to be very interesting to see what way they go next in terms of who they get to be her successor. Yeah, I think there's loads of different uh, aspects at play here. I, I do think from the corporate side, the, the uh, FAI board through the chair came out very strongly in favour of Vera Pau and in support of Vera when the first story broke and then a second story follows up on the uh, verge of the World Cup and suddenly the negotiations around the contract are kind of quietened at that point and um, everybody's like well, we're going to see how this plays out and at that point you would really need to have had a, a, an excellent World Cup mm. as opposed to a grand World Cup for the pressure to have been uh, overwhelming to keep her and when that didn't happen and when the players were not uh, unfailingly positive about her then suddenly it's a fairly easy decision as you say Nathan there's no compensation due because it is the end of a contract and although she will feel like she's been fired because she wanted the job and can point to the fact that she is the history maker and the game changer in terms of getting us to a World Cup um, there wasn't enough of a structural support uh, for them to go, we could do something different here if we like. I do also think as well there is a certain responsibility on the FAI in terms of how things have unfolded. Like I think you can say it was great that they you know, had the six hour board meeting last night to decide this and it went through proper processes and they did the review and all that sort of stuff. But all the way back to that statement that they released first in support of her when the allegations first came out, like that came out mere hours after the report itself they said that at the time that you know they were learning as everyone else was learning I think there probably could have been a proper process that maybe took a little bit longer to you know talk to Vera talk to the players make sure that the players weren't going up in front of the media constantly to answer questions which they were I think like they could have put more people forward from the FAI to answer questions, especially in the pre-World Cup time when the report came out again from the Athletic so that it was taking some of the heat and some of the pressure off the players because I think a lot of this is now circling back to the players and there's going to be a lot of pressure from fans to for them to answer questions about this and I think that could have been dealt with a lot earlier like Nathan and I have talked about it a couple of times on the show we've talked about it on AM a couple of times on the show I've always felt that and I, I don't understand why they didn't do more of that at the time Yeah I think Jonathan Hill needs to come out and 
from what I understand, it's probably going to be a couple of weeks before he talks about this. But it's been quite a while since we've heard from Jonathan Hill again, a very different era from the previous one. But the reason Vera Powell is not the Republic of Ireland manager is essentially because of a personality clash with the players. 